Welcome to Cowboy Corner, a variety program for the cowboy at heart. Cowboy Corner is brought to you by Green Forest Cowboy Church, meeting at the Green Forest Cell Barn at 11 a.m. on Sundays. I'd like to talk to you this morning about 1 Samuel 16th chapter 7th verse. It says that man looks on the outward appearance and is talking about checking out David for to be king of Israel. And it says for us not to look on the outward appearance, the height of his stature. For man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. You know, deep down inside of us, what's in our heart is what counts. I had a deal come to the church the other day and said how to tell if somebody's a cowboy, you know, and had all these different requirements and stuff, and it was just a foolish bunch of mess because they didn't know what a cowboy was. A cowboy is somebody like my Uncle Alvy. My Uncle Alvy, he got up every morning and put his boots on and his hat on, and he went out and he lived a life that was true to himself, true to God, and true to his neighbor. He wasn't out to cheat you, he wasn't out to mess you around, but he was a good man that lived a good life. The greatest thing, though, that I think he did was he gave me an awful lot of morals back when I was a young man and was needing some pretty bad. My Uncle Alvy was a true cowboy. A true cowboy is somebody that they're the same way. No matter whether it's a good day or a bad day. Oh, they may get a little more irritated and maybe having a bad day, but the bottom line, at the end of the day, they're still the same person on the inside. Well, you could even say a true cowboy is just a man. A true man. Somebody that's willing to stand up for right and willing to fight for those things that makes a difference in his life. I had another uncle, my uncle John. I preached his funeral here a while back, a couple of years back, and I couldn't think of anything bad that the man had ever done. And from what I understood, everybody in the world loved him and thought the world and all of him. And I know I sure did. Many times he could have said something real bad about my dad. My dad was a alcoholic and done a lot of wrong things. He could have said things that would hurt my feelings, would have made my dad look like the person that he was, which wasn't real good at that time. But, you know, he only said good things to me about my dad, positive things. My Uncle John was a good man. He was a true man. Although he never wore a cowboy hat, he was deep down a cowboy inside. I was preaching his funeral and got done preaching and said everything good that I could say about it. And a feller stopped me at the door. He said, I need to tell you something about your Uncle John. And I thought, man, buddy, if you're going to tell me something bad about my Uncle John after I just got through preaching that man's funeral, I'll just whoop you right now. <laughs> and uh, But I didn't say that, but I just thought it real good. And he said, I got to tell you about my son. My son was a hoodlum here in this little town. They lived in a town of about two or three hundred. Said he was a hoodlum and a sorry little individual. And said he took and went and got a girl and raped her and killed her. And my Uncle John, he told me that my Uncle John met him at his house that day after he found out the news of what all his son had done. He told me, he said, John was there in the front porch with tears in his eyes. And he called his name. He said, sir, said there must have been something I could have done to help your son. I'm so sorry I've let you down. 
He said, John, you don't owe me no apology. He said, that was that boy's life. He said, yeah, but we're here on this earth to make an impact on others. That was a man. My Uncle John was a true man. He was a cowboy. You know, that's what a lot of times we think that cowboys are, you know, wearing belt buckles and hats and boots and the same old nonsense. But, you know, we kind of get a misgiving of what people are on the inside. Kind of like our church there at Green Forest Cowboy Church. There have been folks in the past didn't think we was much of a church because we didn't look like them and didn't act like them and didn't worship the exact same way that they did. But you know what? Deep down on the inside and underneath all them old cowboy hats in there, there's a lot of people in our church that loves God just like they are in other churches. God looks on the heart of man. I'd ask you today, what's in your heart? Is everything right between you and God? Are you trying to live the life that you should and doing right by your neighbor? Well, I want you to know, God looks upon your heart and he can see a good honest effort, a good try. So do your best today. God bless you. There's nothing left but ashes The fire is gone for good I'm trapped here in this cabin Too cold to go for wood I thought I'd write a letter Let you know that I'm okay Though my leg still hurts a little Bad spill yesterday Dear Mama I'm a cowboy And I know that breaks your heart And all the things they wrote about me Must have torn your world apart So Mama, please forgive me No, I drove cowboy and he was wanting to get him a pet. He's getting kind of lonely. And so he went to the pet store and 
told him, he said, I need a pet. I said, I ain't got just a few dollars. Pet store owner, he said, man, I got just exactly what you need. He went back to the back and brought a white box out, and he said, this here is a cowboy centipede. He said, a cowboy centipede? And he said, yep, that's right. Hat and all. Well, I'll take him. So he gave him the money and took him home. Sunday morning come around, and the old cowboy woke up, and he said, it's time to go to church. And he went over, and he rattled the box, and he told the centipede, said, you better get up. Get ready to go. We're going to church today. Messed around a little bit. A few more minutes later, he said, Hey, I'm telling you, you need to get up and get around. We're going to go to church today. We well, went and got him a cup of coffee and came back. And he said, Now look, I ain't going to tell you again. You better get yourself up and get out here because we're going to church Old cowboy centipede said, I heard you the first time I was putting on my boots. It's been hot and dry since the first of July. Summer rain skipped us this time. Oh, there ain't much to say, just turns out that way We live west of the dry line If I told you I didn't worry about the weather and such You just might call me a liar But I trust in the Lord, He's been good to me That's my boy dragging calves to the fire that's my boy dragging calves to the fire There's markets and interest Cool and mad cow Trade embargoes are getting me down Granddaddy fought the Comanche Then lost out to nesters pushing a plow At the bank there's a note Standing between me and broke Great interest only two above prime Takes all we can do Just to get through And make another payment on time If I told you I didn't worry About making ends meet You just might call me a liar But I trust in the Lord He's been good to me that's my boy dragging calves to the fire That's my boy dragging calves to the fire There's a pretty little redhead running the meat She helps her mom keep the books They're the rest of my crew And whenever they're through They'll throw on the feed, they're the cooks Never thought I'd reach 50 quite as quick as I have Wonder where my youth was spent Chasing big dreams, scheming big schemes Reckon that's where it all went If I told you I didn't worry about leaving too quick You just might call me a liar But I trust in the Lord He's been good to me That's my boy dragging calves to the fire That's my boy dragging calves to the fire Yeah, that's my boy dragging calves to the fire We hope you enjoyed Cowboy Corner. It's our hopes that something was said that encouraged you to keep on headed down the right trail. The folks at Green Forest Cowboy Church would like to invite you to come be a part of our services 11 a.m. on Sunday mornings at the Green Forest Cell Barn. We hope to see you real soon.